In this video we're going to take a look at uh, a geometric expansion that isn't set up in the right form. Uh, the index I wrote in red, this is our goal over here. Our goal is to get it into this form. And you can see that in the problem here we have n equals 3 to infinity and the index or the exponent value is not n minus 1. So let's see if we can clean this up a little bit and make it fit into that form. So the first thing we notice is that uh, we have a negative, we have 9 to the negative n plus 2. So let's go ahead and factor that out. And I'm going to skip the sigma notation until we get back to the end of it, just, for, just to save time. So if I factor out a negative, we'd have negative n minus 2. And then we have 4n plus 1. And then we notice that when we have a negative exponent, we can bring it down in the denominator. So the next line we'll write, we'll have this down in the bottom as 9n minus 2. And we have a numerator of 4n plus 1. And so we're getting a little bit closer. Um, but the first thing we need to do is we need to resolve that this n equals 3. We need to subtract two, two of those values, right? So we need to make it n equals 1. So I will write it one more time here. So since I subtracted 2, since I subtract 2 to get to that, I'm going to add 2 to my index over here. So we have 4 n plus 1 plus 2, and we have n minus 2, and we're going to add 2 to that one as well. So let's just clean that up real quick. We have 4 n plus 3. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Lyle. Thank you, bud. Okay. And then we have on the denominator, we have just, oops, I forgot my 9, didn't I? We have 9 to the n power. Okay, so now we have our index set at n equals 1 to infinity. And we added, we subtracted 2 to get to this index value here. And by doing that, we added 2 to the, uh, to the terms up here. Okay, so now, if you recall, our goal up here is to have n minus 1, right? So let's just do that. And we'll do that by simply going n minus 1. And remember, our value up here was plus 3, right? So if you if you uh, end up with a minus one, but you end up you really have a value of three, you're gonna have to Daddy? you're gonna have to add a value Daddy? of four to the fourth. Okay. Daddy. All right. So you can see now that this numerator, if you had a negative one and you're adding four to the fourth, that that takes you back to the original of n plus three. Okay. And in the denominator, we need it to be 9 to the n minus 1 power. And so what do we need to do? We need to add 1. Negative 1 plus that 1 is going to give us just regular n. And it looks like we're almost there. So if we rewrite it over here, uh, 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 is uh, 256, I believe. And then this 9 to the first power is just that. And now notice that notice that we have this value in n minus 1 terms. So I can go ahead and rewrite the ratio as 4 ninths. And that's to the n minus 1. So now it's starting to take shape, right? So now this is my r value. And that's my multiplier out in front. And so to find the sum, um, it's just going to be this 256 over 9 
to the one minus one over one minus the ratio four ninths and so that would give us looks like 256 over 9 all over 1 over uh, 1 take away 4 ninths would be 5 ninths and just doing a little bit of arithmetic here this would be the same thing as 9 fifths right if you take 1 and divide it by 5 ninths, it's the same thing as multiplying by 9 fifths. And you notice that here, the 9 cancels out. And you get that this geometric sequence, its sum, is 256 over 5. Okay. So I hope that helps a little bit. And we'll see you in the next video.